Hey guys, welcome back to the Pop Arcade. I'm Cam, and today this is part two of my pop culture unboxings that I'm currently in the middle of. Um, like I said in the previous video, I have got so many boxes coming from pop culture. They are pretty much who I get all my pops from. Um, I love earning pennies through pop culture. This is not a sponsored video from pop culture by, by any means. Um, so I love pop culture so much. So much. Um, yeah, so I just have so many pops coming. Um, I've got my New York Comic Con pops that are still on the way. Um, everything is really delayed right now because of Corona. Um, you know, pop culture is actually located in Melbourne, Australia. And Melbourne, Australia was the last um, state in Australia to be in lockdown because of Corona. Um, so they've been operating their factories and packing facilities in limited capacity. Um, and even Australia Post delivering themselves have been operating in limited capacity. So everything is taking so long. So yeah, I've just been waiting like three weeks plus on these pops. So I actually really have no idea what are in these two. Um, see this box is labeled Mayor McCheeses and this one is labeled, I don't know, Sydney. Sydney pops, what? Ad icon Sydney pop. I don't know what that is. But anyway, let's get into these pops and unbox them and see what we have in here. I've misplaced my knife. One second. Knife. Okay. Let's start with this box. The one that says Mammic Cheeses. And I hope it is Mammic Cheese, because I'm still waiting on my Mammic Cheese. I've got all the rest of the pops, including um, the Captain. Captain. Oh, Captain whatever his name was. <laughs> the one that just came out for New Comic Con. I have that one. Okay. There's six pops in here. Two are in soft protectors. Pop culture don't ship in soft protectors, that's weird. Okay. Let's see what are in here. Okay, let's start with this one. It is Mammic Cheese. Cool. All right. I've been waiting on him for so long. All right, oh, oh no. Okay, we have my other Pauly Pigeon, and my other Pizza Rat. So these were limited to one per person per order, um, but I actually did order one for a friend through his account because it is actually for him, it's not for me. So these two will go to him, uh, but Paul the Pigeon's got some bad paint marks there. It looks like it's bit yellow marks from his beak, if you can see that. So maybe, oh yes, yeah look. He's flopping around in there really loose and his yellow beak, which was still wet with paint, is hitting the glass. So I might swap my box for this one so he can have a good box because I'm an out of box collector, as you can tell. All right, so you know what? Since we saw these in the last video, we'll just put them down the floor, save some room. All right, we've got Dum Dums. Cool. This is really cool, uh, but he still has the international sticker on him, so that's that's a bugger. Oh well, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Stickers don't matter. But this is a pop, which is really cool. Uh, so ah, oh, it's actually in a two-pack pop. So this is your Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia, uh, New York Comic Con specials. Um, so these were only available on Pop Culture. Um, in Australia for the New York Comic Con event. Um, you could buy these in a two pack like this, uh, or once these sold out, then you could buy them in, I think in a, in a, in a mystery box with six other pops, because that's what pop culture like to do. They love to put rare pops in with a lot of the, the I was about to say shitter pops, but the less desirable pops. And they, um, they love to put the less desirable pops in mystery boxes just to get them out of the warehouse. Um, so I actually can't remember, I'm trying to look for the receipt, which I put somewhere. Let's see. Lots of paper in here. Let's just see how much I actually did pay for these two. Batman's mystery boxes. Okay. I paid $50, so $49.99 for these two Star Wars pops, which is awesome. And I just hit them. Lucky they're in pops. Let's have a look at the Funko app to see if there's a value on these at the moment. 
Um, so I probably won't be taking these out of the box for actually once in my life. I'm going to be keeping these exactly the way they are. And I'm going to be keeping them on my little special shelf for special pops. Um, because these are awesome. Um, but hang on. Let's search the barcodes. Alright, so insufficient data. There. Insufficient data for Luke. And let's have a look at the other lady. She's not scanning because there's a huge bit of glad rack in the way. See insufficient data on the Funko website to tell us the value of these two. But that's alright, I'm grateful to have them in my collections. Now let's have a look and see what's in this box. What else am I waiting on? I can't even remember what I've ordered, so that's why this is a surprise for me and you. I need to get a new knife for opening videos. This old bread knife is not very aesthetically pleasing. Okay. I really don't know what's in here. I would assume it's still my Comic-Con Pops. Let's have a look. Yes. Cool. This is my Beetlejuice Glow in the Dark from the uh, New York Comic-Con. Just gone. So it's only taken about three weeks for these coming to me, but that's all right. Cool. This is my Growlithe, the Flocked, from the New York Comic Con. Uh, I don't collect Pokemon at all. I mean, I do love Pokemon, and I, I wish I could collect Pokemon, but there is going to be so many Pokemon Pops coming out. There's going to be Flocked versions, and of course, there's like, you know, 500 Pokemon or so, so Funko are going to smash these out like no tomorrow. But what I do do is I get all the flocked ones. The flocked ones seem to come with every convention. So what I do do is buy the flocked versions from the conventions. That's the only Pokemon Pops I get. Okay, do I shoot as Recyclops? Um, don't collect Office Pops either. Do love The Office. Not as much as uh, my mates love The Office. <laughs> but um, they seem to be doing the Recyclops with all the conventions as well. So I thought I may as well get those. Spot, hey, no, the camera's wiggling around because my cat, who I kicked out already, is now rubbing up against the tripod. <laughs> Unbelievable. Dwight Schrute, everybody. Okay, we have another Man McCheese, which is cool uh, because I have two sets of the McDonald's Pops, the five. So I've got two sets of those, one I'm keeping and uh, one I'm putting on display because I am a huge McDonald's fan, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, cool, here is the angry Pikachu flocked from the convention. So that is awesome. Um, yeah, and one more pop. This is, ah, uh, cool. This is comic, the comic book guy from The Simpsons. This is not my pop, this is my friend Liam's pop, um, who I got for him, or he bought and I bought on his behalf. Um, yeah. So this is your pop lamb. You can come and get it whenever you want. <laughs> cool, all right. So that is, that's everything from this pop culture order. Thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, there's gonna be more videos coming soon. So thanks so much for watching and uh, I guess we'll talk soon. Bye.